Classic Rock. Classic Rock. <laughs> Rock, classic rock. <laughs> classic rock, classic rock. <laughs> There had to be some talk about whether, you know, you haven't put a remake on every album you've done, but many you have, and especially the ones that were big here in America. Did you guys discuss yeah. whether or not you should do a remake? In this case, you did the Steppenwolf classic, Born to be Wild. Well, we wanted to do it for ourselves. We all loved the songs, plus, because we wanted, we thought the song had the message uh, that, you know, we were born to be wild no matter what what kind of lifestyle uh, each member, band member ended up doing after the split. We all were born to be wild, and it's a song from our youth. I've got a remake <laughs> to throw at you for the next album. I've got one, and, and I, you probably won't do it, but I think you guys would just make it a great song. I think I'd like Which to. One? I'd like to hear you guys take on "If You Want Blood" by ACDC. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> well, we've got one called "It's uh, You're in My Blood." <laughs> <laughs> would, would that be too much with all the ACDC comparisons? I mean, it, it'd probably be crossing the line for you to actually remake one. But uh, but man, I think I'd love to hear you do a lesser known one, you know, and and just kick it. Um. Well. You never know, you know, never say never. How are you going to get this? You got Sony here, it's released in the States. Mark, we got to get you over here. What's it going to take to get Crocus back to the U.S.? I, I would say simply buy the record because that's going to set off triggers and it's going to set off a chain reaction which goes all the way to the booking agency. And, and that's what's going to make it possible in the end to fly the band over the big pond to tour that, you know, big country. The USA is one hell of a big God's country, you know, <laughs> and we'd like to to come over and do it all, but uh, that would take years. <laughs> but, I mean, we, we don't intend to tour that, that long anymore, you know, <clears throat> like six to nine months. And I don't, I don't know if there's any rock bands touring that long anymore, uh, especially not the old school ones. Uh, but anyway, that's not the question right now. Right now, uh, we would be happy to come over and just do a whole month, you know, uh, maybe only do our strongholds from the 80s and then take it from there. I'm, I live here and I've grown up here, and, and I... I may not understand it from your point of view what it's like to be a rock band that tours the states that's that's from a different country. You know, what is it that makes the USA a special place to go on tour? We came to America and felt like a bunch of uh, bad boys let loose in a candy store. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and you took advantage really? of it. <laughs> well, I mean, we, we were still young and frisky. <laughs> And uh, we were lonely, you know. We <laughs> we slept. We were so lonely, and and these these beautiful girls came and wanted to to tell us bedtime stories, and you know we, we didn't send we didn't chase them away. <laughs> <laughs> now we're looking forward to to most of all play our music. Yes, and and rock our all the new fans. Would Crocus ever consider doing something like playing all of Headhunter again, now that you got all the guys? Well, well, well. <laughs> <laughs> That's, um, I mean, it's a possibility, you know, but we, I guess we're not that far into the game yet to be able to consider uh, such, such a thing, you know. I think first we, will, we want to concentrate on coming over and playing our classics and reestablishing us with with the new brand new songs we're still very happy you know with with hoodoo it's like a child with a new toy on christmas day you know and and it's doing so well so we 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 feel like uh we we got the pat on the back 
from uh, Switzerland already, and the rest of Europe welcomed it, and we we did we, we achieved some good chart uh, positions in the rest of Europe. So we're hoping now we're looking at having a nice tour here, uh, and um, you know things like you know playing a whole Headhunter album. Uh, that's probably a few years away i would say we're, we're still too our our hearts are too full with hoodoo and the classics and the reu- reunion because don't forget we were we were apart for too many years you know that's a good point that's a good point you know i got two more for you and then i'll let you move on to your next one man although i could talk crocus with you for three or four days so so i i don't want to do that though i i like that we're friendly to each other do another one later on jeb hey man you know that that sounds great my my uh, last couple are one is a comment and i want you to play as much a hoodoo as the crowd will let you because i really like the album but when you do get here to america you must for me keep a long stick go boom (laughs) In the set list, man. <laughs> well, that that's been in in the set list since I remember. <laughs> so, for, for all time, it is the, I, I guess the opening song of of the century. It's it was made, created, and built for opening a concert. You're you not know? you're not but lying, it man. Is, it's the battering ram. <laughs> it is, and, and I uh, and we still have it. We still open the the set with with long stick, and I, I guess that's the way it's going to stay for for many a year. But those are the <laughs> things that make those are the things that make albums unique, man. And that's one thing I like. I mean, Crocus. <laughs> you, unfortunately, you do have that Bond Scott era to you. I mean, you sound a little like ACDC in your vocals, and the music has there and then. But why I think you have survived, where so many other bands that had that same sound haven't, is because Crocus still has an original side, and Drive It In is a perfect example of that. Yeah, you're right. You know, um, as a matter of fact, uh, that's that's the truth. We're compared to to ACDC, and I guess you know every band. When people talk about a band, they always compare it to another band, so so they can communicate to whoever uh, what they mean, you know. Um, so, <laughs> and with Crocus, the best comparison is ACDC, you know, because of the riffs and because of my voice sounding close to. Bon, but um, from the composing point of view, I guess our songwriting spectrum is a little bit freer than ACDC's. We have a, bra- a wider spectrum and we allow more variety in our repertoire. I mean, never would you find a song like uh, Screaming in the Night or, or uh, you know, Fire or there are so many songs in our repertoire that uh, ACDC would not write because they don't want to, they they don't need to. They are specifically focused on uh, riff rock, uh, 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 blues-orientated boogie, and we do blues-orientated rock. Well, Mark... Yeah. I want to say that dur- when this... Now, this interview is going to be on Classic Rock Revisited... Uh, yeah. we're going to be giving away signed Hoodoo CDs. And also, in between interviews, we're going to play several tracks off the album. So I'm going to do all I can, and you are welcome. And I'll get with Peter to put this interview on the Crocus site, to link to it, however you want to do it. We're going to do all we can to let people know. And I have got to get you over here to see you, because it's been way too many years since I've seen Crocus, and it would be such an honor for me. Uh, to shake your hand. That's true. Well, Jeb, we really appreciate all your support, too, you know, and uh, when, not even if, when they hit America, we'll make uh, we'll make an acoustic set in your backyard. How about that? <laughs> you got a deal. <laughs> you got a deal. <laughs> Uh, I uh, they play half the, the headhunter just for you, you know. That'll be it, man. And I, you know, one of my best friends and, and sponsor of our shows, a butcher. So I'll have him come down and uh, and barbecue some ribs for us. Get you some American food. Yeah, exactly. 
barbecued ribs with with American barbecue sauce. Uh, it would go great with Headhunter, man. <laughs> classic rock. Classic rock. Really?